We should go to St. Louis. Ah, we go to LA. Let's get it. <laughs> Hey, what? Hey, what you doing here, man? I thought you had a sixers tonight. I've been away for a while. I'm in the band of town. Debating about who is the greatest. What you debating about? Take it for cloud, I know. Right. You better do this right now. You better get balled on. Come on. Okay, just kidding. I was just, I was just messing around. I'm definitely just kidding. Um, my audio. Uh, I just deleted something. I didn't mean to. So my game audio might be really loud. Shoot that three. Shoot. He knows I can't play D on the pose. <laughs> what the fuck? Good defense. Oh, I'm just kidding. Damn it. Yeah, you shoot that. Oh, he won. <laughs> Shit. Hey, I appreciate the run, man. That was a good one. All right. <laughs> no, would you say it? I can call you anytime. Really? All right, cool, cool. Yeah. Well, you can tell me your secrets. You want to come find me? Yeah, that's fine too. What? Yeah, I'm down. Friday night. Let's do it. You nervous? <sighs> a little bit. I gotta show out to get the official NBA combine in by Chicago. You've been playing this game your whole life. Their feet handle it. I think there's a little bit more strategy to it than that. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. I know you're doing all you can. Just anxious, that's all. Excuse me, Jay. Yeah. Can I have your autograph? Sure, kid. What's your name? Tony. Tony, who is your favorite player? Uh, Spider Mitchell. Some scary talent right there. Aw, oh, cool. Thanks. You're welcome. Got a lot to live up to. I'm just trying to survive the next few months with a job in hand. That's it, Lisa. Happy as the head. Let's just stop talking about it. Jay, sit. Someone I want to introduce. Israel Bacon, meet Jay. Pleasure, young brother. How's it going? While you're out there weaving between cones, Israel approached me about a really unique opportunity. A signature sneaker. You serious? <laughs> hey, who are you with, Puma? I left the corporate side a few years ago. Spent the last two years traveling, educating myself on what's really going on in the world. That's real. The vast majority of the world is way more concerned with feeding their children than their follower numbers on Instagram. Tell you what else I saw. Basketball. Everywhere. I saw what the game really means. The escape it provides, and I knew that I had to get involved somehow. Tell them about the brand. Ah. The company. It's called Conflict. Since we don't have overhead, we're able to give 50% of our proceeds to young children living in conflict regions throughout the globe. Our success hinges on authenticity. That's why we need educated, outspoken young athletes to push the brand. Guys like you, Jay. Look, don't get me wrong, I get what you're saying, but this just seems a little bit premature. Honestly, right now, I'm just praying I make a squad. That's it, right there. Humble. See, people relate to the struggle, the hustle. That's how we build our fan base. It's also how we pull in investors. Investors? I thought this was already up and running. No, it's definitely happening. But we have to do the labor work. First part of that is getting the right athlete on board. Ideally, you would be our angel investor. <laughs> the guy without a contract? You'd be coming in on the ground, Jay. A partner. Exactly. So basically, you want to give me stake in a company that doesn't really exist. <sighs> cool. Just cool. All right, Jay, don't be disrespectful. It's okay, Ace. Let me ask you a question. How much of your own bread have you put into this? I'm sweat equity, Jay. Hard to calculate those hours. <sighs> yeah, no doubt. Look, I appreciate your interest in me, but this is not for me right now.
What am I doing? What does that even mean? Jay? Mm. Zach Bailey, man. Good to meet you. Big fan. All right. Sorry, man. I just... I... What? <laughs> you expecting someone who shaves? Yeah. 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 I know. Well, my mom says that I'll appreciate the baby face later, but right now I'm still single and getting carded at movie theaters, so I'm working on that James Harden thing, you know? So, uh... Pre-draft. Anxious? Yeah, but you know what? It's time. Fair enough. Damn right. Well, I'm just gonna be level with you. Uh, the NBA execs are a little anxious about your decision to stay in school, and you couple that with your demonstration, and let's just say taking a flyer on an unproven 18-year-old starts to look a little bit more appealing. What happens to drafting someone who's, you know, mature, who can actually come in and contribute? Yeah, fair enough, but look, in this racket, potential will always reign supreme. But don't worry about it. We still got a chance, okay? I'm just trying to let you in on the perception that's out there. But I, uh, <clears throat> I do want to pick your ear about your little situation with the, your advisor. Who, Issa? Yeah. Oh, she just helped me out. I trust Issa. Okay. Well, did she have anything to do with your decision to stay in school or sit out that game? What are you getting at? <laughs> All I'm saying is, if you and I want to try and make it into the league, I can't have anyone else in your ear. Okay, so what do I tell her? Well, Che, you're a professional now. You say thank you and goodbye. I gotta go, I'm double parked in a handicap. I liked Israel's message. Felt like it was on brand. I should have come to you first. I'm trying to make a squad, Issa, not change the world. Can you understand that? Yes. I'll let him know. I met with an agent earlier. Oh. That's good, right? Did you like them? Yeah, he made some good points. Such as? You realize how much money I cost myself by staying in school these last few years? I mean, if I had gone pro earlier, maybe the portal stuff never even happens. <laughs> Is that your string theory? We talked about the risk, Che. I mean, we even got you an insurance policy in case you got injured. If I haven't had you in my ear talking about breaking the mold, I might have done things differently. Excuse me? You know I did nothing of the sort. I supported you, sure, but those were your decisions. But you knew better, Issa. You should have stopped me. Look, Jay, I'm not doing this. I'm glad that you found an agent. I truly am. And since it seems I'm no longer needed here, I'll be heading out. Stay true, Jay. Decent, but numbers are overrated anyway. I mean, KD couldn't bench 185 once. You think he's losing sleep over it? Actually, he may be, but he's a different type of cat, though. You know? Look, Jay, if you want this combine nod, you're gonna have to perform in these scrimmages. Stay within yourself, but be vocal. We're selling you as a locker room guy, yeah? Yeah, cool. Hey, what did the left eye say to the right eye? 
What? Between you and me, something smells. <laughs> huh? <clears throat> Isn't that stupid? Yeah, it is. It's pretty bad, yeah. I know, I know. I just, look. Tim Duncan used to have his strength coach tell him a joke before every game. You keep him loose. Just relax, Jay, and leave it all out there on the wood. Gotcha. Ah, oh, damn. You just left her for the dust, boys. <laughs> you didn't get no shits. Alright, let's continue this shit real quick. Everything is... Everything is... Everything is... Everything is... Just another day on the wood, boss. How you gotta look at it? Yeah, well, maybe for you. How many scouts you think made out to Montana to check on me, huh? Don't listen to him, Jonas. She ain't got no worries. This don't pan out. Adam Silver will probably mention him himself. Poster boy for principal. That's <laughs> funny, Onyx. But I'd rather be the boy getting posted if it means I'm making a squad, you feel me? What's up, fellas? Hey, Whoa, what's Scotty up? Pippen. What's up, man? Yeah, a lot of history in this locker room, man. Yeah, check this out. Take a look at this. You know, I'm from Arkansas. Youngest of 12. My dad worked in a mill. Nothing special about the way we grew up. Just poor folks. Sure some of you guys can relate to that, right? Yeah. You know, coming out of high school, I was only 6'1". 150 pounds. Wet. I only received one offer. Central Arkansas. And that was to be the team manager. <laughs> but something happened between my freshman and my junior year. I caught inches. Yeah, I was 6'7 and starting to feast on cats. But this ain't no dupe. This Central Arkansas. My coach is going crazy, going broke, calling all over, trying to get scouts just to come check me. But my senior year, a man named Marty Blake. Marty was known as the super scout for the NBA. He's helped out a lot of people like myself, John Stockton, Ben Wallace. He got us each into the Portsmouth invite, which changed our lives. If you want it bad enough, if you're willing to sacrifice, it will find you. I got six of those to prove. Get this. All right, so we read this. Compete. Best college seniors in the country. Earn an invite. First chance to get scouts. Initial impression. Play against other prospects at 5v5. All right, let's get it. Hopefully this isn't. I, I don't know if the fucking audio is too loud. Find out. <laughs> Nice shot. A taco? My boy Taco. Shit. Holy hell, he's huge. Okay, how am I supposed to stop him? <laughs> Woods, I don't know how you're supposed to stop him, but try your best, bro. Nice board. Let's go. Got you. Nice job. Go. Oh, nice job, nice job. Oh, that's, that's, that's my bad, boys. Good job, let's go. And one, let's go. Nice job. Good shit, boy. Let's see how this goes. I did upgrade my free throw, so hopefully it's not too bad. Nice. Not bad at all.
Play defense here, boys. Hey, I can dunk it. Let's go. Good to see. Good to see. Oh, I was expecting the dunk, bro. Damn. All right. Looking good, boys. Looking mighty fine. Taco, you can't hang, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Big Taco Falls today. Nice board. Let's get it. Nice passes. Let's go. That's my bad. We're set it up a little bit. Give me a screen. That's my bad, bro. That's okay. Good shot. <laughs> I almost had team take over here. It's a good game right there, folks. Good game. Hopefully the drafts chances go up to a higher higher spot. We'll see what it says here. Yes, yeah, it's going up. Mid second round, there we go. There he is, Elche. You know A.W.? Not personally. But he's heard of me. Got to roll the dice, that's why. All my life, I've been grinding all my life. All my life, been grinding all my life. Sacrifice, hustle, pay the price. Want a slice, got to roll the dice, that's why. I remember now. I think you were on that French under-18 team that we wrecked at the World Cup. <laughs> I was, of course. I was 14 at that time. And yeah, yeah, we are in the same draft class. I guess some do require extra seasoning, huh? Experience is an asset. School to taught you that, playboy. Library card is free. My sweat is nuts. Okay, uh, well, you two are gonna be workout partners and roommates. That'll be fun, right? So come over here and I'm gonna show you for the next 12 weeks of your life is gonna be like. Okay. Movie time. Three months, guys. Three months dedicated to the game you live for. Is that too much to ask? No, sir. Yes, no. sir. Cool. Great. That's what I thought. Okay, let's move on to the schedule. Hey, Dean. How do you do the... Oh, there's a button actually called calendar. Oh, great. So, official combine invites go out the first week of May. If you're both invited, we'll go out to Chicago on the 16th. After that, we'll be arranging some private workouts with interested teams up until draft week. And then, summer league. But for now, for the next three weeks, you guys are going to be in the gym. Your food is going to be delivered to your apartment. Now, I don't need to tell you how quick perception can turn. You're going to find the road is real treacherous if you find yourself fighting for a job in Summer League. Understand? Okay. Now, let's talk social media. All right? I mean, I get it. You're young guys. If you want to post something, get your trainer to send you some workout footage. I'm sure people would be stunned to find out that dudes who get paid nine figures actually work on their craft. Okay. Any questions for me? Uh, no, no, I'm good. Perfect. Perfect. Feel that? That's the anxiety, all right? Use it. Let it fuel you. I mean, Jesus, look at me. I'm sweating like a fat kid at a candy shop. Speaking of, I'm gonna get some popsicles. You want some? We have a whole ton. No, I'm good. No, I'm good. All right, well, I'm gonna make a dent. Made a little extra. Thanks. 
<sighs> Who's your squad? It was the Ornette, but Toom is a mentor. Lily Taj has been playing with teams in my draft range. Meanwhile, K, Washington, New York. Smart. Get used to the rosters and rotations. Where does Z think he will end? <sighs> All over the map right now. Second round or undrafted, unless I put in some serious work. It shouldn't have to be that hard. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. I thought your teammates was a victim, that's all. I mean, you act like you know what will happen. I didn't really think about it. Well, my father used to say, an educated man is a calculating one. If you don't regret it, own it. Hey, you're a pretty blunt dude. I'm French. Come on, pick a team that could actually use you. All right. Man, this is dope, bro. Hey, check that out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you ready for this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gentlemen, Stacy Gibraltar. I'm your trainer for the next couple months. Just because you don't scoff doesn't mean you're enlightened. Fact is, over the next few weeks, you will despise me. And come July, hopefully, we'll be lifelong friends. We'll meet here every morning at six to prepare for the combine. After lunch, you hit the court. Have you received your first week's supply of food and supplements? Yes, ma'am. It's not the army, fellas. Loosen those shoulders. Make sure you follow the instructions exactly as they're written. Otherwise, you'll just be wasting your time in here. Stretch out, boys. Replenish. Uh, Catch. Oh, man, that was good. How'd they do? They finished, so better than some. Better than some? That's not really the uh, report card I was hoping for. Uh, guys, funny story. Uh, there was actually a kid two years ago who had to change his shorts about halfway through his first workout with Stacy. What? That's foul, man. Yeah, I know. It was gross. Uh, anyway, he didn't really get drafted. I think he's in Uruguay now. Not really sure why I told you that story. What is this, 50? 15. Okay, weird. Okay, AW, you can chill. And, uh, Che, I need you neat and tidy because we have a meeting in an hour. A meeting with who? Who knows, man. <sighs> Come see. Come on, Bailey. <laughs> Later, Stacy. Bye, oh, Zach. My back, Stacy. Bon chance. Whew. Hey, you want to tell me what we're doing in here? Not particularly. Mav will see you now. Great. You mean with Maverick Carter? Yeah, man. Act natural. Guys, look, unless we're talking real partnership, we're not going to be interested. I won't be able to get LeBron to move off his couch unless it's equity. So thanks. Sorry to keep you guys waiting. Have a seat. It's all good. So look, uh... Mav handles all of LeBron's marketing and off-court opportunities. The community work, the film TV, the Beats deal, and of course, the lifetime contract with Nike. Hey, how do y'all know each other? Z and I go back a ways being in this business, but the thing I appreciate about Z, besides being a great agent, is he really lets his players grow and make their own decisions. See that? 10 out of 10 review. I gotta add that to my Yelp page. So look, Che, look, I like you, LeBron does too. But here at Uninterrupted, what we focus on is really giving athletes a voice, really giving them a platform to become more than an athlete. Hey, uh, tell them what you told me on the phone. Look, I know you're focused on the draft, and that's the right thing, because that's most important to you, but we've talked to a couple brands, and they're interested. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. They saw what you did at Bay City, and most importantly, they're interested in your story. But look, before you get excited, you got to realize one thing. These aren't like super rich deals that are going to change your life. And there's nothing wrong with taking these short deals along the way, as long as you don't sacrifice the long money. Yeah. See, look, Che, uh, in the grand scheme of things, these guys are putting down loose chains to tie you up for like a couple years. Now, if you flame out, that's the cost of doing business. But if you blow up, they just got Fifth Avenue product for Canal Street prices. And right now, you're hot. But along the way, you have to figure out what type of player you think you're going to be. Forget what Z thinks or what I think. What do you think you're going to be? Do you think you're going to be all pro and all star? Or do you end up overseas? But you really got to focus on getting to that second contract because that becomes life changing. So, you thinking about what Mav said? Mm hmm. Got any wisdom for me, Mr. Super Agent? 
Well, in my opinion, it never hurts to listen, but I'm not you. I can't tell you what kind of player you'll become. Let's hear him out then. Okay, I'll set it up. Yo! Chad. Carl, what up, bro? What up, man? Appreciate you coming out. Just trying to get this work in. Oh, it's all good, bro. Oh, cool. Uh, listen, I could give you the whole spiel about Gatorade's lab, tech, products, and history, but let's be real. What have you been drinking at every single camp, at every game, at every part since you could dribble the rock? Gatorade? Exactly. And what's your flavor? Citrus cooler, man. Long live. <laughs> exactly. Hey, listen, pretenders can never compete with the original, and that's just facts. Hey, bro, that was a pretty slick pitch you got there. Right? And I even have to use the like mic bit. <sighs> you know what's going on here? Je ne sais absolument rien. Do what? <laughs> Woo! Cheat day, boys. Celebrate. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the fact that both of you just got your official invites to the 2019 NBA Combine. Yes! Yes, you've earned it, Che. Good job. You I wasn't too worried about. I mean, look, you may already know this, but you're being brought up to Chicago for some interviews and measurements. No scrimmages, no testing. No sense in jeopardizing your stock at this point. In fact, just do a few good team workouts, and who knows, you may even move up a few more spots. But, see, I'm not afraid of competing. I know, I know, A.W. Look. It's not about pride, okay? There's just no upside at this point. Rest, you know? Show them you're the big dog in a bit. You, on the other hand, Che, just look. Put up some decent numbers, do well in the scrimmage, and you never know, right? Like guys like uh, Levine, Siakam, I mean, they all flew up the boards after Chicago. This could be your time. I mean that. Speaking of Chicago, enjoy the deep dish, gentlemen. Personally, I'm not a fan, but uh, <laughs> bon appetit. <laughs> French. <laughs> all right. All right, that's gonna do it for today's video. Um, hope you guys are enjoying, uh, I can't wait to grind this game. Oh God. This is like my hair in real life right now, because I'm in the army. <laughs> this is going to be the end of the video here. As you can tell, the draft combine is next, so, uh, stay tuned for the next video. Alright, thanks for watching guys, peace out.